Hey, Barry from Over 50 Golf here today. Thank you for joining me. You know, today's session we're gonna talk about solid contact, particularly solid contact when the ball's down on the ground, improving your iron play. You know, and that's one of the real keys here for lowering your score and becoming more consistent is hitting your irons better. And see that a lot with golfers where, you know, they're not too bad off the tee because the ball's teed up, but as soon as the ball gets down on the ground, they, they really struggle with contact. And primarily that's because of two things. You know, one is a, a slide of the hips going back. So they kind of slide and overturn on the backswing. And then as a result, they can't get back, back to the lead side to strike the golf ball solidly. You know, really good ball strikers, consistent players. They strike the ball from the lead foot. They have great balance into that lead side. Lots of pressure and weight there to strike the golf ball. Primarily, you know, a lot of golfers, they're trying to lift the ball. They're trying to scoop the ball. So we see a lot of this action when they're hitting. They're going like this from the back foot. You know, the club's passing the hands a little bit early. Club's gonna come up, you're gonna to top it or hit behind the ball. You see that a lot with wedges, you know, they're around the greens too. Oh, I wanna lift the ball in the air. So what happens, you know, kind of get this going. I wanna to try to help it up. And that's the worst thing, you know, because you can't make good solid contact when you do that. We wanna be moving into that lead side. So the club's descending and that low point of the swing is moving through the golf ball for good solid contact and this way too you're going to have a forward leaning handle at impact for good solid strikes and before we get started with our lesson tip today if you like our channel and you like our videos please subscribe it helps us to grow our community we love hearing from our subscribers as well if there's any lesson tips and ideas you want to have for lessons to help you with your golf game shoot us a message we'll be happy to deal with them in the series now let's get started So on the backswing, typically, golfer will slide. Sometimes that's due to lack of mobility. Sometimes it's trying to overswing too much. Uh, but that just shifts your weight too far this way. And now your balance point's gone outside your feet. You can't get back to the golf ball. It's just too hard to move with the lower body to strike the golf ball. So a simple drill you can do is just take a ball when you're out on the range, Throw it down under your trail foot, you know, and get it somewhere around the instep. So that kind of moves the foot in a little bit. You're going to feel a little bit of extra pressure on the inside of the foot. And then when you turn back, you're going to really get, become aware of this hip slide. So with the ball down there, it acts like a bit of a brace and you turn against that. And as I go back, this trail knee will straighten out. That allows the pelvis to turn. That keeps me centered over the golf ball keeps my body weight inside my feet, keeps me balanced and ready to move back into my lead foot to strike the ball a little bit more consistently. The other thing is too, when you're trying to work to improve your ball striking, short shots, short shots, okay? Wedges, short irons. Don't go pull out your three iron and go, oh, my three iron's not solid, so I'm gonna hit a bunch of three irons. Forget about that. You have to work on the technique with short shots first, get your mechanics down, and then gradually work up into the long clubs. So I've got my eight iron here, I've got the ball under my foot. Just gonna make a few practice swings to feel that action. This way I'm moving into the lead side, then I'm gonna hit a few. Get that feeling for being here, making that good pivot, and then go back and through. like that so it really gives you that awareness for a good coil move into that lead side to strike the golf ball another good drill you can do this is fantastic for solid contact staggered stance drill trail foots back feet are close together lots of weight and pressure over here on my lead foot and I'm swinging around that lead foot so that keeps me centered here to go back and then I'm gonna turn around this lead foot to strike the ball. You can see my pelvis turns and opens up. That brings my trunk forward. This way I'm right over top of the ball, good impact position on my lead side for good solid strikes. Just like that. Very good drill too for those of you that really struggle around the greens hitting good solid wedges. Will really help you with the contact on your wedges here. Bang, so this way the club is coming down. Good compression, good solid strikes. Boom. 
pub go down, ball go up. You'll, you'll hit really, really good solid shots. And then a little bit of a mobility drill to help you with your footwork and that pelvic action going through the ball. Just take your club, put it up in front of you. And I'm gonna do some hip twists. So I'm gonna to try to just turn forward. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to turn forward here. You can see where the shaft is. I'm trying to get my trail need to get to that shaft point. Boom, boom. I'm trying to bring it forward. That brings my weight over here, opens up my pelvis naturally. This way I'm in a good impact position to strike the golf ball. Helps open up the pelvis, promotes good footwork going back. Just like that. And then from there it's bang into that impact position there. And through. So do those three few little drills. They'll really help with your impact. You gotta practice with the short clubs to improve your contact with all your irons. Barry from Over 50 Golf, if there's any other tips and little lesson sessions you wanna see, throw them in the comments. We'll be happy to include them in our lesson series. Let's keep playing golf, let's keep having some fun.